Hey everyone, I'm going to start showing some of the preview of some of the things that's going to be on the auction on um, Friday, July 22nd at 7 o'clock p.m. It's not going to be a long auction. It's going to be kind of a short one. I'm going to have some clothes, some short sleeve shirts that I have left over that I'm going to try to get rid of. So I'll have some clothes, not a lot. But a lot of the stuff I'm going to try to get rid of is some of the knickknack stuff. Because for one thing, I can't lift anything up heavy. So I'm not going to be able to do anything big on this auction right now. So it's only going to be kind of the smaller stuff um, that I'll have. So, all right. We have two thimbles. We have a little clown thimble right here. This one is a vintage one because it's made from bisque. So that is another thimble. This little horse, um, it looks like it's got a crack in it. I don't know if you can see it right there. I don't know if it's been glued back or not because it kind of goes all the way around except for down here at the bottom. I don't see, I don't know if you can see, I can't tell. But anyway, that's that one. This is a little elephant left in trinket box. All right, then we have two little mini bud vases. This one has paper stuck in it and I cannot get it out. So it doesn't have anything at the bottom, but like I said, and then here's another little bud vase. Doesn't have anything at the bottom of that, but it has like little cherubs or whatever on it. All right, and then if you're Avon bottle collectors, we have two Avon bottles right here. They're like Christmas. They're empty, but they're really cute that you could use actually for Christmas for um, decorations. All right, and then you have the Pony Express Avon bottle. Now this one still has all the cologne in it. So this one is actually still full. full. It's the um, Pony Express Rider pipe um, with the Tie Winds cologne. Then you have another little uh, Avon bottle. It was a roll-on bottle. So that's that one. And then this one, the Hippo right here, the Huggable Hippo. This one is also full with its um, cologne in it too. So that's actually full. All right, then we have some lighters. We got this lighter right here. You got this one right here, and it's a, it's a UPS one. And then this one I think is pretty cool because it looks like it's been, it's like a sea um, themed. It's got like a seahorse in it with some seashells, a starfish. So this one I think is really cool. All right, and then we have a little bit of sunglasses left that I'm gonna try to go ahead and get rid of. Um, is what I did, the rest of them. These are the ones that I couldn't fit in a box because I'm sending actually Shannon, uh, Dumpster Mama of two, I'm sending her a box of all the sunglasses that I had and I'm gonna give, I'm sending them to her so she can donate them. So these are just the ones that couldn't fit in the box. So like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and just get rid of them this way. And um, all right, so this is some of it. So I'll skim back over a little bit. So y'all can see. And then I will put some more stuff and be right back. Okay, here's some more stuff. We are gonna have the soap bundles. These I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do at least probably 10 bundles of the soaps until I run out. Um, these will not be done anymore because these are the soaps that me and Billy done together. Um, and they're not gonna be made again. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sell the, the ones that I have. And these would be good great gifts for like Christmas, or anything like that, especially with Christmas coming up. So you have the lavender and mint, the passion fruit and citrus, and then the peach and sandalwood. And that's gonna be together, all three of those together. All right, then you have like a little wooden, little trinket box. And it says St. Martin on it. It was like a little wooden, little wooden little trinket box. Then you have some Disney, like the gondolas, salt and pepper shakers, or Disney. 
You have a blue one, and then you have a little red one, a little gondola, Disney. And if you have a VCR and you love John Wayne, you have it's a box set of John Wayne's, um, the sons of Katie Elder, El Dorado, the Shootist, and then True Grit. That's the ones you got in there. Then I'm gonna have some Christmas stuff. Here's a little Christmas tray. Um, doesn't have really anything on the back, so I'm not for sure. But I'm sure you could use that as a little jury dish, candy little tray, or maybe a spoon rest. I'm sure you can figure something out. Then there's like a little, little jar, little canister. It's got a little snowman on it. And then it says, Merry Christmas on the other side. Then you have a little porcelain veil ornament. These are vintage because of the fact that it's um, made with bisque also, and they don't make ornaments with bisque anymore. And it was hand painted, and it's a bell. Then you have an heirloom doll, and this one I'm gonna tell you is supposed to be a bell, but the bell is missing out of it. So there's that. Then we have some Disney um, coasters. It's got all the different the opening dates of some of the uh, resorts. It's got the villas at the Disney's Grand Floridian. You have the villas at Disney Grand Floridian. You have this one where it's got the opening date. They're all the Grand Floridian ones. And it's different pictures and when they were open. So that is actually something pretty neat. It's something different that you don't really see that often. All right, then we have some more Christmas ornaments right here. We have Merry Makers, Baldrick, and the Bell Ringer riding a bell, so he's riding the bell. Then you have Merry Makers, Burgess, the bell ringer, ringing the bell, and that's where he is hanging from the bell, and he's ringing it. Then we have these, um, it's the creamer and the sugar bowl, little sugar bowl, and it has like a really cute little scene on it. So we have that. And I also have a bag of bath bombs and they've been in storage. So some of them are starting to break. The saran, the saran wrap stuff, the stuff is starting to come off. So like I said, and you see there's some at the bottom of it where they've been, you know, that one broke off. But if anybody's interested in that, I will put that up for auction. Cause like I said, it's just a bag of like a whole bunch of bath bombs. So here's all of these items. All right, and I'll be right back and I'll put some more items out. All right, I've been going through some of my Disney pins, so I'm gonna have these up for um for auction. So I'm gonna give you a little preview. There's Ariel, there's Belle, there's Cinderella, there's a Woody vest. You got Jasmine, Mickey, Daisy. You have Ariel. You have Jessica Rabbit. You have Rex. You have Woody. You have Mickey. You have uh, Aurora. Sorry, had to think of her name. You have to have uh, Donald Duck. You got two of Donald's. You have Stitch. You have Pluto. Not Pluto, Goofy. Sorry, my son took Pluto. All right, we have Snow White. We have another Ariel. There's a Minnie Mouse. And then here is another Stitch one. So these are some of the Disney pins that I'm gonna have up for auction. I may have more, I'm not sure. Uh, I just have to wait and see. But anyway, these are the ones that I have so far picked out to auction, so. Okay, we're gonna have some books for sale also. We have Disney's Monster Inc. Storybook Collection. We have Dis uh, Disney Princess Collection. Does not have the stickers inside, I don't know. 
where they would have been. I, they must have been just sat in there somewhere and they've just gone. We have Disney Junior Storybook Collection. So we have those three. Then we have some smaller books. These are Baby's First Disney Books. You got Bambi's Big Surprise, a book about action words. We have What's Missing Baby Daisy, a book about missing parts. Baby Goofy Catches a Fish, a book about rhyming words. Baby Mickey Finds a Friend, it's a book about action words. Where's Chip, and that is a book about rooms in the house. And then you have Watch and Learn, Dumbo, and it's a book about shapes. So we're gonna have those books. All right, I'm gonna have wax melts for sale that I'm gonna auction off, but also I'm gonna have a wax burner um, to auction. The wax burner is going to come with six cents, and I'll have more cents than these because I'm not through. Um, making wax melts because I want to make sure it's a good enough variety for people to choose to go with this so um, When you win when you win this you'll get to choose six cents From all the wax melts and you can mix and match get all the same scents. It don't matter There's some scents. I don't have like this one the blue um the blueberry sugar I only have two left of those um, The sweet cinnamon pumpkin I only have four of those but like I said there's not that, I mean, I don't have six of everything left on a lot of the stuff. So I said, these are the ones that I have left on these. Um, and I had some more, but I have to see after I get through getting, you know, selling some of those first and see what I have left. But I will have more scents that you can pick from. All right, and I also have some earrings. Now you can't really tell the colors because it's the green background, but those are like little green paw prints. Those are blue ones. And then you have little kitty cats. And these are blue. So we'll have those to auction off. So that is this. This is just a preview of some of the things I'm gonna have for sale. Like I said, I'll have some shirts for sale. Um, I have some kids shirts. I have polo shirts some t-shirts that are like all, sa uh, all Saints and One Psycho Bunny shirt, um, Seven for All Mankind. Some of them are high dollar t-shirts. Um, you can look those brands up if you need to. Um, like I said, I will have a few other items for sale that I will show. I may try to do a couple of bundle boxes. I'm not sure to auction them off. It's just what I can get done by the end is something that's not really, really heavy that I'll have to, you know, pick up or whatever. But like I said, I just wanted to give y'all a preview of some of the items that I'll have for auction. Like I said, it's a lot of the smaller stuff and it's not really gonna be a whole bunch of big items uh, and everything. So, and like I said, I can't sit for very long. An hour or two at the most is all I'm probably gonna be doing the auction for. So it's gonna be a small, short auction. But anyway, Hope to see y'all there, um, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.